So welcome everyone to our 60 minute yang yin practice, the one that's known for the best of both worlds of almost like a power yoga and a yin yoga um, balance. So we'll build heat at the start and then we'll find some cooling poses to really help restore, renew and rejuvenate you. Um, and also we're going to start with that pranayama breath. So remember the hand gestures. You can either choose peace fingers, pretty simple uh, hand gesture to use. Uh, the traditional mudra, mudras in yoga just mean the hand gestures that you're using. Um, you can do your two index fingers on your third eye and you use your thumb to start on the right, breathe in through the left. And then you use that ring finger and pinky, whichever one, and then block the left, exhale out your right. And we'll switch hands. So we're gonna bring the balance of yin and yang in our pranayama breath. Um, and then we'll go into our physical asanas, um, which is our movement, our postures, our poses. When you're ready, let's start with our palms facing up, welcoming our day, setting an intention for your practice, setting an intention for whatever it is that you need or any energy you want to send out to others. Of course, always with positive love and with light. Sitting up nice and tall through the crown of our head, spreading our sits bones wide. body, connect, breathing in as your belly rises, even in seated, just feel like you're pushing the belly out naturally, and exhale, draw that belly back in up to the heart center, feeling a sense of awakening, so inhale down to your lower belly. belly up to heart. Heart down to belly. <laughs> Inhale, belly up to heart. Exhale, heart down to belly. So just starting with a few nostril breaths in through both nostrils. You can bring your index and thumb mudra here to start. Exhaling again, heart down to belly. This mudra represents the past, the present, and the future, honoring all stages of our life. So you want to bring your thumb and index, slightly create some pressure at the top of those fingers, and try to see if you can extend the other three. It can be tricky. Do the best that you can. Breathe in.
try to relax your jaw, relax the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And now just alternate at your pace. retention breath at the top so just pause before you let it go and exhale other side that go. We're going to inhale, sweep our arms all the way up to the sky, breathing in. And as we exhale, let's bring those hands through heart. And when you're ready, let's take ourselves onto our mats to quadruped, which is all fours. If you are on a bolster, just find your way off there safely. And then taking ourselves to hands and knees. Let's start in child's pose. Taking our knees wide, big toes touch. Then sitting back into our heels, really sinking the buttocks down. Extending our arms, forehead to the mouth. Massaging our forehead here, side to side, if that feels good. When we're ready, we're going to inhale, rise up to all fours, hands and knees. Spreading our fingers wide here. Like rays of sunshine, middle finger lines up with middle shoulder. Elbows pointed to the outer edges of your mat. Nice tall spine. Either tops the feet are flat or tucked. 
when we're ready, we're gonna inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, extending our spine, cow. And then as we exhale, we're gonna tuck the tail, scoop the belly around the back, mid back, head to the sky, chin to chest. And then let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw in. Inhale. Exhale. Leading with that tailbone as you lift it up and back in your cow. And then as we exhale, tuck the tail, scoop the belly round the back, chin to chest. Let's find neutral. Good. Give yourself another pause, child's pose. Find more extension. This time, keep your forearms off the ground. You can also cut through fingertips, like cupcake holders in your hand. Beautiful. When we're ready, inhale. Gently finding our way back up. Good. Let's start to massage the hands. Walk it out. And then walk it back in. Just keep pressing. Just using our body weight side to side. Good. When we get here, Again, fingertips point towards you. You're welcome to gently lean back. See how that feels. Opening up a little bit more through the wrists, palms. Extensors in those forearms. Let's find our way back through center and then take it back to neutral. Turning our right palm up. Inhale, exhale, leaning back. Stretching out the forearms here. Nice, let's take it back to center. Good, gently let that go as it can be quite tender. And then turn the left palm up, being mindful here. And then leaning back. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. When we're ready, release that left palm down. Good. And you can just lean back either on toe stand or tops of the feet. Walk the hands up. Good. Nice way to open up here. Hands, wrists, feet. Taking care of those extremities. Start to circle out those hands. And again, shake it out. A nice sweep is always welcome. And turn the palms up, sweep there. Beautiful. When we're ready, we're gonna interlace the fingers, take it all the way up and over the crown of the head. Open up the throat, stick out the tongue, exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Let it go. Back to quadruped, untuck the toes. Good, give it some nice gentle taps there. Beautiful. When we're ready, we're gonna tuck our toes. Let's find our first downward facing dog. Listen to your body move with ease. If there's any areas of your body that need that extra TLC, just check in, choose different options. Rest whenever is needed, child's pose. Pedaling out our feet here, gently walk our dog. Tailbone lifts high to the sky. Spread those sits bones wide. And move your neck 
back around. Yes and no to make sure our shoulders are sternly rotated out and down and back. And hold, breathing in. Big side, let it out. Again, inhale. Big side, let it out. Side, let it go. Ready, everyone? Let's walk it in top of the mat. Either feet apart or option to bring those big toes together. Traditional mountain. Tadasana, forward fold here. Uttanasana. Reach for opposite elbows for that nice rag doll. Start off our day feeling light. Let go of the heaviness so that you can create space for all the good. Gentle rock if you'd like here, movement side to side. Let's release the hands into halfway lift, active back. Exhale, fold. Ready, inhale, active back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Ready, let's inhale, soften the knees, reverse, swan dive up. Exhale, mountain pose. Finding our feet here together, we're going to go into our side move. Good. So taking our fingers, interlacing them at the top. Bend our elbows, bend the knees, keep those elbows forward, inhale, and then exhale up and over to your right. Root through that left leg, left foot, inhale up through center, bending elbows, bending knees, inhale, exhale, lengthen a little bit more, side bend to our left. You got it. Again, inhale. Exhale, make sure we draw that navel to the spine, hips forward. So just keep alternating each side. Center, bend the knees and elbows. Try to look up and ahead, keeping that neck long. Good, let's go one more time. Exhale, let those arms release. Good. Fingertips cup the shoulders. Hold and circle here. Elbows lead in and back. Nice. Switching directions. Good. When you're ready, one more time. Take it all the way back. Release the arms. So keeping our big toes to touch, we're gonna sit back into chair. So bring those feet together, knees together, option to keep the hands on the heart. Okay, so for whatever reason, taking care of shoulders. Try to notice more of the weight into the heels. Lift up Mulabanda. Option to shoot that energy out. Sit back a little deeper. Five, four, three, two, bringing hands through hearts. Ready? Hinge at the hips, bow down, forward fold. Yes and no, nod that head. Beautiful, 
get any kinks out. Halfway lift. Good. When you're ready, plant those hands. We're going to step back. Plank. Sun salutation A. Good. We can start with kneeling or choose that option anytime. Elbows in, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, let's find cobra. Exhale, tucking toes, pushing up and back to down dog. Let's take right leg up to three-legged dog split. Good. Bending at the knee. Stack it over left if you'd like. You can point the toe here. Opening up through the hip flexors. Pressing that right knee up to the sky. You'll feel that right glute engaged. Good. When we're ready, we're going to bring knee to nose. Hover. Get that fire going. Right leg high. Knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Three more rounds. Option to come onto the knees. And just extend the leg back into bird dog and bring knee to nose. Last one. Now, when you're ready, we're going to take it all the way through. Remember, if you get stuck, you just bring hand to heel. So bring that right foot forward. Left knee to the mat. Untuck our toes. Interlace the fingers on that right thigh. Tailbone down, hips forward. Lift up nice and tall through the crown. Feel that right heel rooted to the mat. When we're ready, option to now extend our arms up to the sky. Find our fold. Good. So remember, if lunging isn't feeling good on that back foot, option to stay in kneeling for this exercise. So we're going to come up. Find flight. So you are really high on the ball of the foot. So just be mindful. Good. So from the ground up, we're going to rise up. Crescent lunge. Arms out to the letter T. We're going to inhale, exhale, twist to our right leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. One more time. You got this. Now bring that left hand down. Twisting lunge.
windmilling our left arm back. So we're gonna counter some of the twisting we just did towards the right. Press our right knee to the outer edge of our pinky toe. Heel to back arch. Nice. From here, we're gonna take our right arm up to the sky, left hand to the back, hamstring or the back for our reverse warrior. Now, cow face arms or bring left hand to elbow. If it's accessible, you can reach fingertips and lift up. Nice shoulder opener here. Lengthening triceps. Inhale back through center. Good. When we're ready, we're going to straighten that right leg. Left hip kicks back, extend towards the right side as we find our way into Trikonasana Triangle. Option to use a block to support you with that right hand. Good. Keeping that neck nice and tall, notice we can tilt that left hip even more, feeling it more through the adductors and hamstring connection there. Beautiful. When we're ready, we're going to inhale, rise up, start to soften that right knee, warrior two. Get a little lower in that root. Good. When you're ready, take those arms up to the sky, star pose. Heart center. Nice. Bring that left foot in, turn that right foot out. Bring hands to hip, now heel toe the back foot, and then pivot. Safe there with that pivot from the foot up to hip. Ready? Warrior three. Shift the weight into that right leg. Airplane or hands to heart. Flexion in that back foot. Feel that glute fired up left leg. Keep that right hip back as well. Now, here we go, blocks if you'd like. Take the fingertips to the ground, standing split, walk those hands to frame that right leg, left leg goes high, chin to chest. Amazing, when we're ready, we're gonna take that left leg back. Lift the heart, counter here, kneeling lunge. Now add in, if you'd like, chest expansion. Squeeze the shoulders back, lift the heart. You got it, let's release those hands down. Down dog everyone, Adho Mukhanasana, pedal that out. This starts to become that resting pose transition. Hold down dog, breathe in. Let it out the mouth, give it a good sigh. Ready, we're gonna take left leg high to the sky. Option now to bend that knee, stack it over your right side. Use that left knee to press up, feel that left glute engage. Ready, square that off, knee to nose, hover, core flow, inhale, press that heel, and then exhale, point the toe, knee to nose. If it's too much pressure on that foot, you can come down onto all fours, sunburn. Three, two, Last one. Good, when we're ready, step it through. Lift up the heart, kneeling lunge, untucking the toes, and interlace the fingers on the top left thigh. 
You got it. You want to keep that tailbone down and really make sure those hips are square as you find that opening through the hip flexors and so as. Ready? Let's take those arms up. Inhale. Shoulders back. Amazing. Okay, so this is where we're going to have some pressure on that back. Right sole of the foot now. So we're going to lift the back knee. Make sure your spine is nice and tall. Shoulders and hips aligned. Use your core. Find flight. Scissor those inner thighs. When we're ready, let's rise up. Keep the arms by your side to start, and then extend up. Crescent lunge. You can take it back to kneeling for this next one. Ready? Arms in T, shoulders back and down. Ready to use that core and waistline. Inhale, exhale, twist left. even take your fingertips to that right oblique. Make sure you're feeling that fire up as you twist to your left. Last one. Ready, side bend to your right, twisting lunge. Good. When we're ready, we're going to bring that right knee down. Tuck the toes if you'd like here. Find your way back through, twist. And then you're going to bring that left hip towards the back right thigh or wrap it around the back because we want to maintain square as we extend that right arm. Almost looks like a bit of a camel pose. Lift up through that upper mid back. One more breath. Ready, let go of that fire. Window that left arm up and over. Nice, tucking the back toes. Stepping back to down dog. Let it go, pedal that out. Ready, vinyasa, high plank or kneeling. Up dog or cobra. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Remember, option to bend the knees, hop or step. Forward fold. Ready? We're going to sit back into Uttanasana chair. Scoop the belly, lift the heart. Take the fingertips towards the left. 
Just kind of pull and tug away. Good, feeling nice and open through that left side. Try to knit the ribs in. Ready, warrior two, inhale. left side. If you'd like to bring that right foot in, go for it. Take that right hip back and start to side bend from that waist. Find three, go nasana. Anytime shoulders or anything bothers you there, reduce the pressure. Place hands even on the small of the back or just sandwich the hand around the hip. Use a block as well on the bottom left arm. Find that breath, find some ease. Beautiful, start to soften that left knee. Let's rise up, warrior two. Good, hands to hips, heel toe our right foot. So we're gonna pivot. If you wanna already bring blocks there, go ahead. If you need them there. You're gonna pivot. We're going to start to shift our weight into that left foot, drag the right foot in, and then finding our warrior three on this side. Scissoring those inner thighs. Flexion in that back foot, left hip back. Right hip down and square. for support and then walk it in. Right leg high to the sky, standing split. Nice, when we're ready, we're gonna step that right foot back. Step back down, dog. Good, let's step that left foot through. Right knee down, low lunge. Untuck the toes, press the arms back this time. Use that awkward pinky for that other side, chest expansion. Beautiful, everyone, let it go. Down dog. Walk your dog. You got it. When you're ready, let's take our weight forward to kneeling. Child's pose. Stacking palms if you like. arms out in front. Find your way up to all fours. Quadruped. Good. Now from here, we're going to actually kickstand our right leg and extend the left leg over. So just a nice variation of a side plank here just to open up the side body. Option to float that left leg up. Lower that left foot, inhale, exhale, reach through that right side. Inhale, open. A little bit of yang and yin right here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Now, if you can, untuck those right toes. You can sit back and reach. And then lift back up. Ready? Sit back. Collapse into that right side. Last time. Open it up. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Circle. Sweep that left arm down. Kickstand the feet back to center. Good. And just move your hips there like you're wagging the tail of a dog. Now, left arm goes up. Thread the needle. Hold here in that yin stretch. Left ear lobe down, extending that right arm. Or up to the sky or bent elbow. Bring that right hand in, press up. Good, exhale, cat. Inhale to neutral spine. Good, when we're ready, we're gonna kick stand now our left leg and extend that right leg over. Good, so hips are square, shoulders back, right arm up. that right foot rooted and then if you'd like float that right leg up flex through the heel press it away and back feel the glutes fire to open up there through the front of the leg as we lower that right foot ground the outer edge or you can also rest on the inside arch of the foot if that feels better and then you're going to reach that right arm through inhale Collapse, untuck the back toes, open with the leg, exhale, sitting back, think about a single-legged single, single -legged hero's pose, last time, take it back up, inhale, nice, when you're ready, we're going to circle, sweep that right arm down, square the hips here again. And when you're ready, you're going to take that right arm up and thread the needle under left side. Forward. Try to 
relax the muscles in the legs and the buttocks. If we are on our backs, you can uncross that right leg. If we are here in pigeon, prop up onto the palms, tucking the back toes just to wiggle forward to create some space, and then gentle movement, pedaling out and down dog. If you're on your back, swaying your hips side to side, and when you're ready, left ankle over right thigh or left knee now to left wrist pigeon. Sending our right leg back. settle into for at least our 10 breath count and then using any props in front of you or take it all the way down even just your forearms you can rest on the blocks so that the neck and head is supported Thank you. 
let's find our way again to down dog or on your back uncross that left ankle sway your hips side to side let's pedal that out and if you'd like here sway your hips in the air wag that tail knees to the mat walking our knees towards our wrists swinging our legs out to one side if we're on our backs just roll over to one side so from here we're gonna find cow face legs so we're gonna cross our right leg over the left and your right knee points toward, away from you, towards your foot. You can do half cow face pose if you'd like here. If it's available for you to bend this other one, go for it. Soles of the feet face the back of your mat. And they're pretty much parallel, the shins. So it's not really a twist. Our knees are stacked on one another. Good, now we're gonna inhale, take our arms up to the sky. Good. And as you exhale, you can choose to extend those arms out to the side and then kiss your right knee. Or if you'd like, take them out in front of the shins and fold. Remember, you can keep that bottom left leg extended and still choose this variation for this side. Inhaling up. side to side. The end is near. <laughs> so when you're ready, you're going to extend your right leg out in front, cross your left knee on top of your thigh. Remember, you can choose to stay here and just single-legged cow and fold. If it's available for you, bring this right leg all the way back. But again, wiggle around so that they're pretty much parallel. Inhale, lift tall. Connect with your feet if you'd like. Inhale, sweeping up to the sky. So exhale, you can fold directly in front. If it's not too much load on your back or just out to the sides, fold forward, bow down, kissing that left knee. it in. Great job everyone. Let's bring our arms behind us. Uncross those legs. Nice. Give it a sway side to side. So our last one here before our fish pose on our backs is wide-legged straddle. So bending our or flexing our feet and then you can just let them relax a little bit there. Feel the cushioning there flush your bits away. Get that tailbone to go back as you start to walk the fingertips out in front. If this is where you are, it's fine. You can also prop up onto blocks. You can take it all the way down as long as your spine is nice and tall, lifting through the heart. So we're targeting the right muscles to lengthen here as we find support and stability through our core.
breathing in and out. present moment, bring your awareness back to your breath. As we inhale, start to float your head and chest up, walk it in. Take a pause. bringing arms behind us. Good. You can lean back, bring those legs together. So option to use your bolster for supported fish, or if you'd like a little bit more of a release, using the height of your blocks between the shoulder blades. So choose whichever one. If we're doing a bolster, simply sitting up, placing it at the base of the sacrum there, and then drape yourself down with support. We're going to keep our legs extended. Remember the option to do blocks. So if that is what you have, place those between the shoulder blades. You can adjust the headpiece while you, when you get there. Make sure it's also above the low back. front of the chest there a little bit more and it feels good on the neck, drop the block further down. Surrender and let go. When you're ready, stretch it out, legs to the corners of your mat, let your arms rest out by the sides body, palms facing up, heavy through back body. We will 
listen to a positive mind meditation. Today, I summon to my life a positive mentality through which I can let go and be at peace. Behind my closed eyelids, the cool, dark space is soothing, inviting me to feel calm and tranquil. As I draw in a deep breath, every cell in my body is activated and energized, and I can feel the life current run from the base of my spine right up to the top of my head, bringing me to a state of greater awareness. As I exhale, I release a strand of my essence which merges with the cosmos. In this state, I am fully conscious of my entire being. I can see myself in the grander scheme of life and I am an integral part of the universal ecosystem. Around every corner and in every experience. There is a miracle that I embrace. I see beauty all around me. From the copper coin glinting in the sun's rays to the panting dog smiling on the street corner. I'm grateful for life's little gems and I am open to receiving blessings in abundance. Right now, I surrender control and accept my life just as it is, knowing everything is well and everything will be well. Through gratitude, acceptance and understanding, I have cultivated a positive mindset what I sow is what I reap. And today I choose to sow the seed of limitlessness. I choose to open the doors or build new ones behind which my greatest life lies. destiny and I feel a sense of empowerment as I become aware of my breathing again and experience the cool dark space behind my eyelids which let in the light of my surroundings as I open my eyes again.
when we're ready, finding your way here as we sweep up to the sky, breathing in. With love and gratitude always, let's lower down and connect our mind, our body, and our spirit at the heart as we gently bow. The divine and the love and the light in my heart honors the divine and the love and the light in all of yours. Wishing you always much more health, more peace, and more happiness. Be good to yourself always and be good to others. And honoring one another and our yang yin practice. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Marlene.